Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Now, normally at this time of the month, I would greet you guys with a monthly otaku collection because, you know, it's the end of the month as you are hopefully watching this on the day it comes out. But from reading the title, you probably realize that this is something different. It's not a monthly otaku collection, but rather a video of me saying bye. And yeah, this is a video of me saying goodbye from YouTube for a month. King of clickbait, um, I'm done. So if you're following me on my social media, then you will know that by the time you're watching this video, I am not in this house right now. In fact, I am on the other side of the world in Los Angeles, United States for Anime Expo. And essentially, this is a video of me saying that I am going to be away from this house and pretty much away from making videos for pretty much a month. Not only am I in Los Angeles for Anime Expo right now, but after that I am going to India, Indianapolis rather, for Indie PopCon. And then right after that I am, Aki and I are going to Anime Con Suomi in Finland. And then after that, Aki and I were like, well, we're in Europe. This is the first time in Europe. We might as well kind of treat this as a holiday, treat ourselves to a holiday because we haven't had one, like a proper one in a while, and go on a three week Euro trip. So that's exactly what we're doing. Aki and I are going to be going on this kind of mini vacation in Europe, in five different countries in Europe, I believe. We'll be going to Italy, Spain, Netherlands, uh, France, and Ireland. Yeah. So, including Finland, that's six different countries. So what does this mean for this channel, or my YouTube videos for July? Well, the thing is, your boy did some work. The reason why he's editing this particular video at like 3 in the fucking morning. And he's got these ridiculous bags under his eyes and fucking Jesus Christ, look at that bloodshot eye. It's because your boy has been busy editing and creating the fuck out of videos and scheduling it all in advance. As you know, I don't really upload daily anymore, but because I don't upload daily, I've kind of spent a little bit more time in creating each video. Like, as you guys hopefully will know, you know, comparing it to like my daily uploads, I'm doing a lot more like heavily edited stuff and like more um, script heavy rants and just all sorts of, especially I'm also doing uh, like a lot of different sponsorships as well, like on my channel of course, but even on like different channels, you'll find that out later in July. And so I've been all over the place. I've been, you know, trying to make videos in advance. I've been trying to keep, keep up with everything. I've gone to a lot of fucking business meetings during June to prepare myself for July because there are a lot of companies that want to meet me at the different conventions I'm going to. So June has just been a really fucking busy month for me and if anything, even if I were to do a monthly otaku collection video instead of this one, there wouldn't really be much to talk about because one, I didn't really buy anything, two, I hardly had enough time to like watch anime at all, and three, it was just a really fucking work-heavy, business-intensive month for me, which is something that you guys don't want to hear or care about. So don't worry for all of you guys wondering, even though I will be away from YouTube and like video making all of July, I have done some work and prepared a bunch of videos for July. The videos are going to come out just absolutely normally as they have in the last couple of months. But this also means that I'll be able to, you know, relax a little bit and actually enjoy my time in Europe with Aki because it's going to be our one year anniversary and we're not really like seeing it as like a oh, one year anniversary trip. It's more like we're going to fucking Europe. Let's go to fucking Europe. Hell yeah. And of course we're going to be a bunch of tourists there because it's our first time in Europe. But we also have a lot of different friends who live in Europe and we want to also do meetups in Europe, we will be there for like a few days at a time, not too long, but we want to, you know, try and meet, do a meetup in all five of those countries, hopefully, and also one in Finland as well when we're there for the convention. So I'm not going to announce that right now because we've only been talking about it. We're still not 100% sure, sure if we want to do it. But for those of you watching this and you do live in one of those five to six countries that I listed, then I guess let me know in the comments, you know, leave a like on this video so I know you guys really want that meetup. And if we do decide to do a meetup, then I will announce it over on my Twitter. For every single one of you who doesn't follow my Twitter, well, I'll be, I really won't be like active on YouTube. I mean, you know, videos will be coming out, but I won't be like actually there. Like, I'll only be on my Twitter while I'm away. So if you want to keep up with what's been happening, you know, like see 
pictures of me freaking out at conventions and and like different places in Europe, then Twitter and Instagram, best places to go. So go check that out. For Anime Expo, at least, I think I can announce this um, since, you know, it's a thing that's happening. I will be there all five days. I will be doing a bunch of events for the different days. The biggest one that you guys, for all of you going to AX, the biggest one you probably have to look out for is the Bookwalker panel uh, for Omori Fujino Sensei, the creator of Danmachi. I will be emceeing or hosting that panel on the 3rd, I believe, uh, at 1. The information will be on the screen right now. So that's probably the biggest one that I'll be at. I'll also be doing a signing session the day before that at the Bookwalker panel on the 2nd. And I will also, also be doing on the 1st day, on the Saturday the 1st, I will be doing a signing slash meet and greet at Tokyo Otaku Mode in front of the Pocky truck. I'll essentially be at the Glico truck giving away Pocky to you guys while also, you know, meeting you guys. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that uh, Aki is going to be hosting the Faku uh, rooftop party as well, and I will be there as well. So for those of you over the age of 21, see you there. But that's pretty much it for Anime Expo and uh, Indie PopCon and uh, Anime Con Suomi. We don't really have the details of that right now. So again, I'll probably release those once we know it over on Twitter, but we are going to them. Just, we are going to those conventions, don't worry. That's pretty much it, but I just want to end it by saying thank you to you guys. YouTube was already crazy when I went past 100,000. It was like, holy shit, this has become like a, a real life job and everything. And like, I can support myself on this. And then the adpocalypse happened. And then, but you guys like had my fucking back, man. Like you guys were like super supportive on my videos and like everyone is like so like okay with me doing all sorts of different videos. Like I, as you know, I'm not the kind of person to like just stick to one type of content, you know. I try and do all sorts of different videos and try and aim to do videos that you don't really see anywhere else. And because you guys were so supportive on that idea, that's how I was able to, you know, work with Bookwalker and do the creator interviews, you know, the manga kind of light novel uh, author interviews, which you guys are really fucking enjoying. And uh, I've also been able to team up with a whole other bunch of like gaming and otaku culture like companies, especially recently. And we have a lot of videos planned out uh, with those companies uh, for you guys. Yes, I do a lot of sponsorships, don't get me wrong, but I am very selective with which companies I choose and I tend to pick companies that are again anime related, gaming related, otaku culture related because that's the broad theme of this channel and what you guys enjoy, you know? The whole reason why I partnered with Crunchyroll and Lingualift and Akibento is because I thought it's stuff that not only I enjoy and I think is good, but I think is good for you guys and you enjoy. And luckily you guys are super okay with that. Like the whole fact that like in my Answer Me Senpai videos, there's the whole like, you know, inside joke of people asking in Answer Me Senpai like, what's the sponsor for this week? Like just that whole thing is just so fucking like cool to see. Like you've memified the fact that I'm selling out. And that is so fucking funny and awesome of you guys to do. And I don't mean to deviate too much in this video because it's just an update video, but like one question I've been getting a lot especially is people saying like, Hey Joey, if you're struggling so much with the adpocalypse like everybody else is, why don't you open up a Patreon? And you know, a lot of other anime YouTubers out there, you know, most of them are very good friends of mine, have their own Patreons and I totally respect that. But I would much prefer to have sponsorships rather than rely on Patreon for my monetary like funding. And that's because with sponsorships and different companies, depending on which companies I choose, I can also like, you know, m like keep myself like funded, you know, like Patreon. But unlike Patreon, working with different companies allows me to make all sorts of different unique and new content, which is what I aim to do. The whole reason why I, you know, linked up with Bookwalker, for example, is so that I could do those creator interviews. And the whole reason why I'm linking up with a bunch of other gaming and otaku culture related companies, which I can't disclose or as of yet, it's not so much about like keeping, you know, giving, getting me money so that I can pay my bills for next month, but it's also the fact that I can just make these connections with these different companies and learn off of it, but also create with them. That's like the best thing I think about like sponsorships. So many people look at like sponsorships or different companies and just see the dollar signs. Whereas 
I look at it as like a company of course trying to sell their image, but I rely on that fact of them trying to sell the image through my channel and be like, hey, let's make something cool if we're gonna do it anyway. I wanna make videos, you wanna sell your product? Well then, let's make it something unique so that we can sell your product. You know, let's make it something that not anybody can just do. That's why I really enjoy, like, I would much rather work with sponsorships than with, like, Patreon or like any kind of like tip jar or something like that. You guys seem to understand that you guys are really cool with that and I really appreciate that guys. Like that's so I think mature of you guys to think like that so really appreciate it my boys. But yeah sorry I didn't mean to derail that much. Points that you need to take out of this video if you are watching this video up until this point is one I'm gonna be away from YouTube for a month, but videos are still gonna come out. Two, I'm going to Anime Expo, Indie PopCon, and Anime Con Suomi in July. Hope to see you guys there. And three, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to keep up with what I'm, what me and Aki are gonna be doing during July. So again, guys, thank you so much for the support. If you guys can, you know, keep watching my videos for July because some of the videos I made for July I'm pretty fucking proud of and I really want you guys to see them and I know you guys will enjoy them so look out for those. Also you'll probably see like my hair and beard grow back and forth between videos. My, it's probably gonna look weird for you guys but just now you know why it's gonna look weird. I think I haven't taken this big of a break since like before I hit a thousand subs or something ridiculous like that. So uh, yeah I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. But, uh, hope to see you guys at any kind of convention, hope to see you guys if you live in Europe, uh, and hope to see you guys on the other side. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the-